and welcome to Blame It on the Draw. Today I'm giving you a deck profile on True King Dinos or Dino True Kings, whichever you want to call it, but I prefer Dino True Kings, of course. It sounds a lot better. The first things first is the boss monster, of course. Ultimate Conductor Tyran was going to be the boss monster you're going to be summoning all the time and have to be reliable. He's the one that's going to be special summoned and by the effect of Double Evolution Pill. Now, his effect states here that you can actually activate once per turn during either player's main phase. You can destroy one monster from your hand or field, including itself if you want to. And if you do, change all face-up monster your opponent controls to face-down defense position. This card can attack all monsters once uh, once for each one. And at the start of the damage step, if the, the attacking was the face-down defense position, it gets sent to the graveyard and it loses a thousand attack. So another combo is basically if your opponent it gets destroyed and he activates an effect to special summon that same monster that got destroyed, you can attack again because that monster has been reset and you can attack twice the same monster. And for the next one, we have Overtakes Qualtus. Overtakes Qualtus is going to be the searcher for your double evolution pill. Of course, you send it directly to the graveyard by all the card effects you get. His effect by sending him to the graveyard, you activate his effect by adding one evolution pill spell for an your deck to your hand. And once per turn, if your opponent activates a spell or uh, trap card, you can uh, destroy one dino, including him if you want to, from your hand or field, and you can negate the activation. And of course, the summoning condition, you can basically you can special summon him by uh, ban grabbing five of the banished monsters that are... Uh, dino monsters directly shuffling back into the main deck and he's special summoned but you're not going to be doing that you're basically just going to be sending him to the graveyard to get the uh, ultimate conductor tyranno next up we have uh one of the best combos in here of course soul eating obi raptor soul eating obi raptor is an amazing card now this card right here is going to be enabling you everything because this one is normal special summon you can take target one dinosaur tar type monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or normal sum or, or send it to a graveyard you can target one other level four lower dinosaur type monster in your graveyard uh, on the field my bad destroy it then special summon one dino type monster in your graveyard in defense position of course this is basically amazing when you use something like baby serosaurus uh uh basically it's just since Serosaurus is on once per turn, when it gets destroyed, you can special summon another one. Or you can just use the effect of Serosaurus to special summon Soul Eating Over Raptor directly from your deck, and you activate Soul Eating Raptor's effects, and he's special summoned and activates effect. Of course, his effect is hard once per turn, and you can only use each effect, which is a great part. You can use both effects once per turn. And uh, yeah, this is going to be the one who's going to be enabling you the secret summon, the XYZ summons, and anything else you're going to be using, especially when the double evolution pill game. And for the compliment here is Baby Serosaurus. Baby Serosaurus is going to be the one that's going to be sending him, destroying him. When he gets destroyed, you can add a uh, special summon one level four lower dinosaur type monster from your deck, directly from your deck. Now, this is going to be the one that if you destroy with something like, uh, for example, a True King effect, you can special summon Soul Eating Obi Raptor directly from your deck and then activate the effect of Soul Eating Obi Raptor. Now, that's the best combo between each other because obviously they have great synergy. Next up, we have. One Megalomasher. Uh, Megalomasher, of course, is going to be used for the summoning of True Kings, and that's it. He's a beater. And then you have Miscalinosaurus. Miscalinosaurus, of course, is going to be the one protecting your dinos. You can just discard it during your main phase, and you can protect them by basically everything. And uh, and the other thing is uh, you can banish uh, uh, with uh, monsters with equal uh, equal number of banished uh, dinosaurs. You can special summon one dino equal to the number of those doing this with the stars. And the other one is Giant Rex. Of course, Giant Rex, when he's banished, you can special summon him automatically immediately. So you can special summon him by example by activating a uh, Gold Sarcophagus, and he activates the effect by special summoning himself again. And he can't attack directly, but he is a beater. He gains attack for each uh, Dino monsters in the grave and uh, banished. So that's really good. And the next is Drac Dino. Drac Dino is going to be the one he's going to be using basically just for the synchro summons, and that's it. He's nothing else. Plus, he's a fire type, so you can destroy him with uh, the True King's uh, fire effect. Next up for the True King engine, I'm going to be adding you first of all of the dinos is one Kaiju Dino, of course. We're going to be do I'm talking about Dogoran, the Mad Flame Kaiju. This one's just basically tribute and you activate this effect by obviously, you know, tributing one monster opponent controls and special summon him. And you just use it to OTK your opponent or break a link board. And then you have the True Kings, of course you have the True King, Agamemnon, the Vanisher, and then you have the King uh of the of course i'm not gonna say their names but true king of fire true king of water basically true king effects to be special summon is destroy a minimum of one attribute of course fire or water there depending on which one you're using the water one of course if you use two of the water you activate his secondary effect and basically you can banish one spell and trap cards no two spell and trap cards from your field or your opponent's field or graveyard and the fire one if it's both fires you can banish one monster from the field or graveyard and of course, the second effect is that if they're destroyed by card effects, you can add one worm type monster that is not water or not fire, depending on which one was destroyed, uh, directly from your graveyard to your hand. For example, the fire one gets destroyed, you can add up back the fire one. And you have Mare Mare, which is another worm tuner that you're going to be using for special summoning the other tokens, up to three tokens. 
and uh, those tokens are going to be using for Mistar Boy or anything else you're going to be using for special summons and so on. Uh, the token spamming is the one you need right now. Is basically going to be giving you the OTK for any other cards, and this is the True King uh, engine right there. Uh, next up, we have, of course, the hand traps, Ash Blossom, and Joy Springs, Ghost Ogre, and Anafik Veiler, of course, negating the effects. Snow Rabbit is going to be destroying the ones that activated card effects. And then you have Ash Blossom, of course, negating anything that comes from the deck, uh, directly from the deck from your graveyard, and so on. So these are three effects, of course, the effect being like uh, basically uh, negating your effects and any, anything that comes from the deck and destroying. So you have three hand traps that can negate or interrupt. Next up for the spells, we have two. Dragonic di no 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 actually not two I'm just joking we have three three Dragonic dra Dragonic Dragrams now basically what this one does is you can uh, all the Dr Dr King's monster gain attack and defense 300 for each one and uh, the first thing you retrieve is something but this is just stupid you're not gonna, never gonna use that so if it's not this uh, once per turn you can destroy one other card your opponent controls uh, when, when you control in your hand. Uh, and if you do, add one true Draco or true king card directly from your deck to your hand. It's going to be the searcher for the true kings. And you have, obviously, Fossil Dig. <laughs> Who doesn't run Fossil Dig for any of the deck, uh, any dino decks? Of course, this is a staple. And then add one level 6 or lower dino type, uh, dino type monster from your deck to your hand. And, of course, your enabler of your special summons for over Overtex, Qualtex, whatever, or Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. It's Double Evolution Pill. Ignoring the summoning conditions, you can banish at least one, minimum one dino monster, and the other one has to be whatever the hell else. Banish it, and you can special summon Ultimate Conductor Tyranno or over Old Qualtex. And that's basically the spells uh, for the actual dino spells, so the ones you're going to be concentrated for your dinos. And then you have for the stables two twin twisters, and they get, you know, and then two terraformings, uh, one gold sarcophagus, one day of peace, and a foolish burial, uh, monster reborn. Of course, monster reborn is special summoning from the graves, and then you have foolish burial sending from the grave. Of course, you send quartix directly from your to, to the graves to get double evolution pill. And then you have one day of peace to get that draw power, and nobody gets to die. Of course, this is the Mexican style. And then you have uh, Gold Sarcophagus. Gold Sarcophagus, you banishing something like Giant Rex and then activate Giant Rex effect to Special Summon itself. And then, of course, you have two Terraforming. Terraforming is going to be the one that's going to be adding your Dragonic Diagram Dragon from your deck to your hand. And uh, then you have two Twin Twisters, of course, discarding anything. And then you destroy two Spell Attack cards of the field, up to two of them. And uh, this is really good for our background destruction. Next up, we have for the XYZs. Uh, we have the true king of all calamities. True king of all calamities can be the one that's going to be f everything up. And then you have Phantom Fortress and the la 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 I don't know the name of that thing. But this one's going to be the banishing directly from the field, if I'm not mistaken, from the hand or something like that. Uh, basically, he banishes direct, uh, eliminating cards from his from the hand if you want to. And then you have Volzar, uh, Laggy, and Dolka. And Laggy, of course, is going to be the one that's going to be negating spells and traps and uh, summons. And you have Volzar and Dolka. Dolka is going to be the one that's going to be negating the activation of monster effects. And I can do it up to twice, um, depending on how many materials you have. But it is not once per turn, which is just amazing. Thanks for the old cards to being like this. I wish they keep going like that with not once per turn so we can keep in this game. Next up for the XYZs, we have number 39 Utopia, and then Utopia Ray and Utopia the Lightning. Of course, this is a whole Utopia package, and you can use the effect up to twice per turn of Utopia the Lightning because you have enough materials to attack up to twice. In the other two rank fours, you have Dark Rebellion, XYZ Dragon, Tornado Dragon, and number 41, Baguska the Terribly Tired Tapir. And these are the best, including Abyss Dweller. Abyss Dweller is going to be negating things directly from uh, the grave. Uh, Baguska is going to be interrupting the games as much as possible. True, uh, the other one's going to be destroying spells and traps. And the last one, XYZ Rebellion, is just a beater. Next up for the, the synchros, we have, uh, of course, Trishula. Next up, we have uh, one Yazi Evil of the Yangzing. And then one High Speed Rick Chambara. Of course, Trishula banishing from the field, hand, or graveyard. And that's going to be the one. And then this was going to be the one destroying your card and your opponent. So actually, special summon one worm. And this is special summon Mare Mare. And then you hear High Speed Roy is going to be the one that's going to be attacking more than once. So you can actually do that OTK you want. Miss Boy is going to be the one that's boosting all the water types directly in there. And if he's destroyed, obviously, you can add any of them. He's the one who's going to be beating the game. He's going to be the most powerful card in the game and nothing can defeat you once you activate and use Mistar Boy. He's going to be the one best beater in the game. Of course, all jokes aside, he's a really good card. And that's it, guys. Hope you like it. This is deck profile for True King Donalds and Donald True Kings. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that like button, make that like button your bitch. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. Remember how you held me